Hello everybody, welcome back to On the Bright Side. My name is Daniel and I'm watching Free Ren. You can tell by the Free Ren. Just just all bundled up uh, because last time we continued our adventure as we go further north. We passed by the Village of the Sword in which we found out that Himo in fact never pulled out the legendary Sword of the Hero. Uh, but it wouldn't wouldn't really be a good legend if people knew that. So after dealing with the monsters around that sword, we then continued, and it was Stark's birthday, where Fern realized she needed to get a birthday present. But uh, we learned a bit about Stark and his family and how they were a family of warriors who's very harsh on him, except for his brother, who was nice, but it appears as though that entire village has been wiped out and his family is dead. We can't say for sure, but... It doesn't really matter because we're going to see people in the afterlife anyway. So all of these, all of these past experiences will come back around. But Stark got a bracelet, and he got a hamburger steak. So you know, best birthday ever. Am I right? We're inching closer to the second core of this show. I'm trying to catch up sooner rather than later. So if you guys are excited for me to catch up, then you should do yourself a favor and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next free run reaction. But let's begin in three, two, one, go. A dude. <laughs> this is this guy from the intro that I was like, we haven't met him yet. Yeah, but we did it. All right. <laughs> we just meet characters out of nowhere in this show. A version to one's own kind. I wonder what that means. Alt Woods. Is there a tragic backstory? I barely know you. Okay, where... How did that go? No, you refused, okay. Regrets is a common theme in this. Who are you, first of all? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> quick second. Oh, bottle. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's how it goes in this doggy dog world. <laughs> Maybe fate will change. Help him! Seriously. Please! <laughs> Who is this goober? I love him already. You can't just... You do... You do that all the time. I found a man. Yeah. She could have done sooner. Okay. Something tells me we're gonna stick around, though. Well, fuck. <laughs> I guess we have to go get medical attention. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Damn, we need a priest. Was that guy wearing priest clothing? <laughs> Was that bluffing? <laughs> Yeah, but you're not a dwarf. Oh my goodness. Well, that makes sense. I would love if this entire episode, Stark, just gets progressively more and more high. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, yeah? I knew it! This boy is dying. Wanna help? Yep. Yep, and now I'm, I'm constantly bleeding. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was impressive. He's got the healing touch. Impressive. I mean, he almost died earlier this episode, but... Right? <laughs> It, it's fine. You don't have to live up to genius. Could we... Okay, problem. We don't have a priest or a good healer. 
Solution. This guy wanted to be an adventurer. He's a genius healer. I think the, I think the math works out. <laughs> I should have fucking read the subtitles that I was looking at. This is what I'm talking about when I'm like, I, I say things almost at the same time as this show says them. Well, now that you're saying that, I don't know. We'll see, but he could have more to him than we're seeing right now. Yeah, what's wrong, though? Uh, aversion to geniuses? Ah. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to bring you along. <laughs> God damn it. Corrupt Priest Part 2. Oh boy. I have a feeling you're not going to. This guy seems... <laughs> Alright. Just find him naked. Yeah! <laughs> I fucking knew it. What about you? You also suck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's never too late. Mm. Well? Ooh. <laughs> she said the exact same thing. Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, you're too much like me. Fuck you. I hate myself. <laughs> or I hate what I was. Wow. <laughs> Fern's like, you fucking baby. How <laughs> nice. <laughs> Take these, please. <laughs> Don't worry, she's just like that. Damn. Yeah, she's she's also religious, so she's upset about that. Oh no! Oh no! Hi, <laughs> sir. What have you done to her? Yeah, well, you can't really make him do anything, but it'd be, it'd be nice. Well, again? Again? We want to know if we can bribe him. Yeah, we got that. Uh, well, we've got the oldest woman alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're thinking it. Did you know that Freeran is actually over a thousand years? <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> now listen here. <laughs> this fucking dude. Oh my god. Oh boy. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> Why, that doesn't count? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Flamet. Oh boy. Are you in love? <laughs> Damn. What? <laughs> yeah, well, there might have been a reason for that. <laughs> what is this bit of everyone being all like, no, no, coming for, like, once you know who Free Ren is, you're all like, oh my god, she's putting an effort. You've been waiting. Yeah, so move on. 
まだたったの10年だよ。A mere 10 years. She's understanding it. She's understanding time. なんで今さらって思っているでしょう。私は今の話をしているんだよ。ザイン。兄貴を置いて村を出るだなんて。何を言っているの ?I'd feel upset if I was your brother. I'd be like, come on. あなたほどの才があれば、生徒の司祭としてもやっていけるでしょう。私はあの子の兄です。あの子から。故郷まで奪うことはできません。君の弟さんにたっぷりと冒険談でも話して行くとしましょう。<笑> he saw him. 兄貴は俺のためにこの村に残ったんだぞ。But he likes it here. そんなことを考えていたのか。Oh! 私はあの時の選択を一度だって後悔したことはない。Damn! <laughs> But you regretted a lot of things. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I mean, sometimes you need a family member to slap some sense into you, right? No, not usually. Physically, but. Yeah, so it shows how. It's like, get the fuck out of here! Wow! Hey, if your friend is dead, then you'll see him again if you come with us. I, again, if, unless you do find out he's dead. Nice! Sorry, I got distracted by the nice fish! Nice cock! I'm glad to have this guy on board. He's fun. Apparently. Probably soon, with all the smoking and drinking. Stark's like, I'm glad to have another dude. I love how every time a new character joins, a previous character's are like, Can I relate to you about all the things <laughs> that these other party members have put me through? Alright, that was another episode of Free Ren. And a very interesting thing happened this episode, and we gained another party member in Sain. Everyone loves to talk about what these characters' names mean. I, th I think there's someone in my comments who tells me, so. What does sign mean? Because <laughs> usually it's somewhat relevant to the character. But uh, he is very fun. A, an, an older man, late 20s, early 30s. I mean, if he's been waiting 10 years for his friend to come back, that looked. If that was、uh, maybe when he was like around 18, we'll say, then、um, he could be 28. That's my guess. Who knows? <laughs> Actually, someone might know, so you know, tell me if you do. <laughs> But, you know, I was gonna say earlier this episode, oh man, let's get us another corrupt priest. And god damn it, it's happening again. Someone who did know Heiter, we just keep finding people that, that our previous party interacted with and bringing them with us. Freeren's collection of children. But this episode was, I mean, this show, I, I talked about it last time. But this show is really funny.、Uh, that whole scene with the,、uh, <laughs> with the kiss, he was all like, no, that's not it. But Stark <laughs> and Fern were all like, oh my god, Hol holy shit, <laughs> never seen f r e y r e n be that sexy. Hold my god. <laughs> and I guess it's because once you know her, it's all like, yeah, she's never like that. Also, they're young, I guess, so. It's funny that that was a seduction technique taught by Flame. Uh. I guess she wasn't that good at that either. I, but I imagine that that's the image that he has in his head when, like, I wanna, tr I wanna travel with older women. My guy's a, my guy's a MILF hunter. You, you know? You do you. But yeah. <laughs> sign, sign is pretty great. Uh. I. But this episode was also pretty heartfelt about, um, One of the big themes of this show is about regrets and not having them or making up for them. I think that this episode had a good message of it's never too late to try and, like, even if you can't, even if you regret some things, it, you can work to feel less bad about those regrets, you know? You don't have to remain stagnant and just, like, have these regrets for the rest of your life. You can, you know. If there comes times when、you've, you are able to do anything to lessen that, then I think the show is saying that you should try. And, you know, I agree. It's advice that's really hard to take sometimes. You know, like often I'm like, I should get in contact with some friends, some old friends from high school. And then I just like don't for, you know, a year when I couldn't, when I, when I just like did not contact anyone. And I was like, I should. I thought about it a lot. Do I kind of regret that? Yeah. 
But eventually I did, and I'm really gr- glad that I did, and it was really fun. I, I don't know. There's a lot of interesting th- things to say about regret. I think it's one of the things that, like, our, our brains punish us for the most is, is having these regrets, not acting on things that we're like, damn it, I should have done something about that. We don't need to we don't need to torture ourselves with it, I think, is what this show is saying. You know, if you can do anything in the present, then then you should. So Sign has decided to regret his his decisions a little bit less by going with with us. We got another dude in the party. He's kinda hot. I don't know if everyone has I don't know what the consensus is on that, but I guess if you know me from my like Specifically, my, like, Vinland Saga reactions, he kind of fits in that, like, in in the latest season of Vinland Saga, I was pretty, like, Snake is attractive for the entire time. I was like, damn, look at that scruffy man. I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about it that's, that's attractive. Someone, someone back me up on this, please. (laughs) Stark has someone, another dude, to be like, ah, maybe now I can talk to someone about the boob clouds. (laughs) And they'll understand. Meanwhile, Fern is all like, oh boy, another person I need to chastise constantly. Fern, maybe you just need to chill out. Maybe you need to, you know, yeah, maybe you just need to chill out. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about how you need to chill out? I, I'm already loving the dynamics of the characters from this episode, so I'm excited to see more of their interactions. That's That's been one of the most delightful things about this show, it's just been how these characters play off of each other and the type of comedy it creates. And I never expect the jokes. I never expect... I also just love how every every place we go and every every person we meet is really unique. Even if we don't know them for a long time, like with Kraft, where we just see him for like an episode, uh, he makes an impression. <laughs> I mean, that kind of... He kind of makes a strong impression when the first thing we see of him is squatting. But also, like, the little girl from, like, the sword village. The first thing we see of her right up in your face. Yeah, this show's really good with its side characters as well, even if it doesn't give them a lot of depth. But Sign uh, has at least a bit more depth. I don't know if he's going to be traveling with us all the way. He says he's only going to be traveling until he finds his friend, um... But I have a feeling that there's a very strong possibility that he is dead and that he's going to need to travel to heaven with us, which which could be sad. Uh, but I, who knows how long that journey is going to take. I'm, I don't know whether I should expect it to happen anytime soon. I won't, I won't count this as a spoiler if people want to tell me at this point in the novels or manga, are they anywhere close? <laughs> they said it would be a 10 year journey, right? It's been one year. It's been one year. So I'm guessing that we're not anywhere close. I don't know how far ahead the novels and manga are. So if they have actually reached it at a certain point, then I wouldn't mind knowing that because I know that that's the the destination, but I kind of expect the answer to be like, we got no fucking idea, man. (laughs) But yes, now we got a good healer. That's cool. I like that. A genius healer. I mean, I guess if we're going to have a party of OP people, then might as well keep expanding it. I don't know, I feel like healing powers like this would have been useful many other places, but he pretty much just stayed here waiting for his friend, so I guess... <sighs> it, it, it is sad. He definitely comes at regret from, like, more of an adult angle. You know, I, I hear a lot of people who are adults now be like, part of, part of their dream is to just, like, please that inner child, you know? As when they were a child, they had dreams of doing this and doing that. Part of being an adult is actually being, like, I have the abilities to do this now. I guess that's kind of what I'm doing with this YouTube channel because, I mean, I didn't start watching YouTube until I was like 10 and I didn't start watching reaction content really until I was in high school. So I didn't always want to be a reaction YouTube channel. I really wanted to like, you know, I started watching like Niga Higa and stuff. So I wanted to do like skit stuff. I have a skit on this channel, I think, It's one of my oldest videos, unless I privated it. (laughs) Hold on. Nope. Yep. That sketch is completely private. Cause I, cause I was just like, it didn't, it, you know, it was like my second video. It didn't do well. And, uh, I was like, well, it's not really representative of what my channel is. And I'm kind of embarrassed by it. I think it's a good sketch, but I was planning to make that 
more of a feature of this channel. If you've seen my stream promos, you can kind of get the <laughs> the vibe that I would do with my with my sketches. But yeah, being being on YouTube, it has always kind of been like a child child dream of mine. Obviously, I always knew it was not going to be like in my in my dreams. Um, but I am pleasantly surprised with where I'm at with YouTube and I very much appreciate everyone who watches my videos. This is my first video of the new year. So I'm hoping within this new year, we're going to surpass 1000 subscribers. So if you want to make that dream a reality and not let me live in regret, <laughs> that's a lot of pressure. I'm sorry, but you should subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. So you don't miss a single free run reaction going forward. And you should also leave a like if you like this reaction and you can comment. Tell me what you thought about this episode. But until next time, I hope that I can make your day better. And I hope that you continue to have good days. Take it easy, everyone. Mm -hmm.